Hi, this is William, and I want to take this opportunity to thank all of those who have supported my Bible worker ministry, especially for the last seven years. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you. In 2015, I was encouraged to start my own ministry. And I, it just seemed like a whole lot of work to start your own ministry, doing the 501c and all of that. And, and so I thought it would be better if I could just work with a organization that was already organized. And besides that, I really didn't want to be a maverick. I didn't really, I, I mean, I wanted to work with the Seventh day Adventist church. Uh, so I didn't really want to go off on my own too far. And so an idea came to me and I asked the Plant City Seventh-day Adventist Church if they would just host a Bible worker fund where people could contribute from all over uh, so that I could do Bible work in the Florida area and all over. And they were very congenial and, and welcomed that. And not only were they uh, very helpful, but all of you who faithfully supported my ministry for over, for, yeah, over seven years, uh, is just amazing. When the fund was first set up, uh, back in 2015, I was hoping it would last for two or three years and then I would do something else. Amazingly, it was going strong after seven years. And, that is just a God thing. And again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to all of those who contributed uh, with their funds, those who prayed for my ministry. Uh, it means the world to me that uh, you believed in my ministry, you believed in soul winning. And again, I just want to say thank you. And like I say, the, the fund was doing well. Uh, this year and in, in seven years running. But on uh, July the 6th, I received a call from the Florida Conference of Seventh-day Adventists asking me to close my Bible Worker Fund and become a full-time conference pastor and to take specifically the Homosassa, Inverness, Bushnell, uh, Adventist Church District. And that call came totally out of the blue. I was settled into my ministry. I was settled into what I was doing. But God was still preparing me, and, and I see that looking back. Uh, one way I know he was preparing me was I had done a sermon many weeks ago uh, before July the 6th about how Abraham was wanting God to bless Ishmael. And, uh, of course, God was telling Abraham, no, you're going, Sarah's going to have a son, not Hagar, and I'm going to bless that. And Abraham, you know, was struggling with that. God, just let Ishmael live under your blessing. Just, just do it my way. And after I preached that sermon, the Holy Spirit started talking to me. Uh, because for, for years, uh, there have been various reasons why I hadn't finished school and why I thought I didn't need to finish school. And after preaching that sermon, I started asking myself, well, all this time, have I just been trying to do it my way? Uh, do I, am I not doing it God's way? And I, I prayed about that, but I mean, I, I'm 56 years old and you know, I, I've been a Bible worker for 30 years and I, I realize that's as far as it's going to go, uh, you know, especially at my age. Uh, but I realized I needed to be a little more open minded. And then about a week before I got the call on July 6th, I was listening to a Derek Morris sermon. I was just on my uh, I've got a, a phone app that has all kinds of podcast sermons, everything you want. And I just randomly, one night when I went to bed, turned on, started playing a Derek Morris sermon where he was preaching about much more. And what he was talking about was he went to the Hope Network, the Hope Channel, to do their Sabbath school programs, but ended up being the president of the Hope Channel. 
And so he was talking about, I went there to do Sabbath school, but it was much more, much more. And in the sermon, he kept telling all of us that you might think God just has this plan for you, but he actually has much more planned for you. And he kept stressing that much more. And as I'm laying there in bed, I'm like, God, why am I hearing this? Are, are you telling me that I'll still be a conference pastor one day? And I listened to the rest of the sermon, kind of forgot about it until a few days later, I received a call from the Florida Conference of Seventh-day Adventist asking me to take a three-church district as the senior pastor. And they said there was two stipulations. One, of course, I would need to uh, close my Bible worker fund. And two, they wanted me to continue working on my education online. And I told them right up front, I got out of debt a few years ago. I'm not going back into debt. And they told me, well, work on it as you can. Take a few classes as you can. Uh, we, we know it might take you several years. And the Holy Spirit told me, William, they're being reasonable with you. You need to be reasonable with them. And so I prayed about it. I accepted the call to become the Florida Conference full-time senior pastor of the Inverness, Bushnell, and Homosassa Seventh-day Adventist Church District. And to me, that is just a, a miracle. Uh, at the beginning of 2022, uh, you might remember, might not remember, I, I did a, a New Year's sermon called Submission Over Ambition. And I was talking about the fact that instead of having plans and dreams for the new year, we need to just simply lay our plans at Jesus' feet and tell Jesus, take us and do whatever you want with us in 2022. And so that was my prayer. I At the beginning of the year, I just prayed, Jesus, I'm yours. Do whatever you want with me in 2022. You know, you can take me up to heaven in a chariot of fire like you did Elijah, or I might die alone in a prison cell like John the Baptist. It doesn't matter. I'm yours. Do with me in 2022 whatever you want to do. I'm submitting to you. Submission over ambition. And so I prayed that prayer in the beginning of 2022, having no idea that seven months later, I would be receiving a call from the conference to be the senior pastor of three churches. And so I know that God has been leading in this, and I pray he continues to lead, and I ask for your continued prayers uh, for this ministry as well. Uh, but of course, now I am employed by the Florida Conference, and they are taking care of me. Well, Jesus is taking care of me through the Florida Conference, uh, just like he was taking care of me earlier through your contributions. And so I ask for your continued prayers uh, for the ministry going on in the uh, Bushnell, Inverness, Homosassa areas. And again, I just want to thank all those who have contributed and so faithfully supported my ministry for so many years, you mean the world to me. Not your, your financial support was wonderful, but it was the, the financial support was more, it showed me you believed in me and that you believed in evangelism. And uh, again, I know I'm repeating myself. I'll probably be saying this the rest of my life and I'll mean it every time I say it. Thank you very much for supporting my ministry over the years. It's been wonderful. Now we're starting a, a new page and I'm looking forward to more of God's blessings and I ask for your continued prayers. One more time, thank you very much. God bless you.